My dairy cows need to move house. Stick around to find out a little bit about that. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodopods. I'm David and today is the long awaited rehousing of my dairy cows. My dairy cow isopods have really outgrown their enclosure. They enjoyed their last one, they loved uh, breeding in there. Now there's so many, we can't contain it, so we've upgraded them. And what I've done is I've upgraded them to something roughly double the size, just to give them some space to grow and enjoy. And just as usual, I couldn't help myself, I had to add a little bit of a theme to that enclosure too. So you're probably asking how do you rehouse an isopod colony and it is fiddly but not the most difficult. We kind of just used our hands and we literally just scooped them up very gently and just popped them into the new enclosure area. We had some substrate repaired in the new enclosure but we found that was the most gentle and best way to do it. We didn't really want to be scraping them or picking them individually, it would take too long. So this method seemed to work and we didn't really have any casualties. They were all moved house quite contentedly and settled in quite well. If you are doing it, I would recommend doing it in a nice clear area with lots of lighting just in case there are any stragglers or you miss them and also being exceptionally gentle with it. It can be a bit fiddly if you are trying to set up the new enclosure with stuff. So I'd also recommend half setting it up and leaving an area to pop the new isopods in with their old substrate and then generally sort of smoothing over and adding in any extra scenery or bits as you go along. So after rehousing, they kind of end up in this little fella here. Now this is an Entoscapes um, Critter Keeper enclosure, which I highly recommend. They're a great company. They make some really nice enclosures here in the UK. It's nicely sized for them. It's approximately 25 by 15 centimeters and it gives them ample room in here. Now I gave them lots of depth of substrate to enjoy and I made sure I had my theming. Now if you can see here, I'm gonna show you some close up on the screen as well. I went for a farm theme because they're dairy cows and they enjoy a nice farm. I got a little barn, a 3D printed barn where they could snack from and hide in, put their cork bark in, put some scenery. I wanted fences, but sadly I just could not get any decent small fences for them. So that had to be skipped. But generally, so far they're really happy in this new enclosure. They've been burrowing. You can see their little burrow trails much more clearly with the lovely sort of acrylic. You can see um, them snacking at the front, they're just devouring all their vegetables and really, really happy in their environment. It's really nice to see that you know these isopods are setting in so well. Now, if you do have an isopod colony of dairy cows and you are thinking of keeping them in a small enclosure, that's fine initially, but we started with a colony of 20. We probably have about 200 of them now. So you are going to want to think about pre-planning and maybe upgrading in the future. In a closure this size, they can get quite a large colony without any problems, and we plan to sort of uh, give some away to other people. But do be prepared, you know, you will have to rehouse these little guys because while they're cheap to buy, purely because they breed so much, they will need a bigger enclosure. If you are interested in buying your own Critter Keeper, there's a discount code in the description. It's not an affiliate code or anything. I just like the company and I bought from them a lot, so they thought they would share this code for you guys. Um, I highly recommend them. Very, very friendly, very nice. But in the meantime, any questions, comments, happy to hear from you down below. But in the meantime, take care and see you later.